Mm. <gasps> That's good times. Nobody. This. Oops. Figured it out. Figured it out. Hello. There we go. This is actually me talking. Oh, geez. Always something. Uh, hello. Howdy, howdy. Welcome. So, uh, you know, if you're new or if you been weren't here last time, we had a lot of fun reacting to the newest episodes of Bell and Dubs, my favorite podcast. I will always say that. Um, and... Say that. <laughs> uh, it, oh, you don't pay me to say that. <laughs> um, it's true. <laughs> ex exactly. But um, we will be live reacting to it. It's just a lot of fun. So I have the Bell and Dubs with me. If you guys do want to introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bell. <laughs> well, Bell. Hi, this is Dubs. Oh, wow. Professional. Well, that's improv. <laughs> No net. No net. Exactly. Mm. But yeah. Um, I don't know. We're doing episodes two and three this week. Oh. Uh, very cool. Any thoughts, questions, concerns? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, I forgot what I was calling. Yep. Help Jeff. I forgot help what Jeff. I was going to say. You gotta help, help Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, help him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I guess we'll just start listening. You um, dive on in. <laughs> get it started. Uh, and I guess we'll try and time it out as best as we can. Uh, but I'm going to start. Three, two, one. Last week, ah. we said goodbye to everyone's oh, favorite of Blaine County Bob. Me. That's but me. Who will be joining Maximum <laughs> Security me. Vespucci Beach this week? In just a moment, we're going to meet our next criminal for the first time. I'm Jilly Schmaltz, and this is House Arrest. I think one of you guys, I can hear the audio just a little Chet bit. Chet Dickinson. Uh oh. Two years ago, Grand Sonara Desert. Highly anticipated summer <laughs> festival. Sneak oh, fest. dang it. Turned into I a forgot that I hooked my dog. Fire. He's driving the festival <laughs> <bus> <laughs> <away from laughs> It happens. It happens. For the crowd. They just don't give for up. Using While many people could be blamed for the failure, only one was sent call to prison. Back. Our next call inmate back. is the man behind this go. catastrophe. I'd hardly call Flaming Dude Fest a catastrophe. Yeah, I was thinking today about uh, designing a Flaming Dude Fest t-shirt. Some might say, Ooh. I'm famous. It you probably lives at risk. For us. Defrauded San Andreas of millions <laughs> of dollars. It'd be fine. And worst of all, you tried to pass off peanut butter jelly sandwiches as a gourmet meal. Now wait a minute. Those were the highest quality deconstructed sound wheat featuring sound a hand ground peanut paste with fine ripened grapes. I love how he just hasn't changed. Like, jam. He went to jail a. and PB and J. Now he's doing this and he's still just I'm the same old chat. Mm -hmm. I have meetings lined up all day commit. to set up my next event. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ow, did you just have yeah, business to do? Like everyone else, you're gonna have to win your freedom here on House Arrest. Ooh, and so it begins. The taser. Mm hmm. But well, that was you're the first time the with Bell and Dubs. Live at the Here's Spooky that. Beach Prison. No, it's not your show. Bell, today I am full of words of nuance, words of skill. Oh, I think your words are stupid. Oh? My words are fun, though. Those are crazy like and lying words. Say them to the recognize wrong recognize person, the, and they'll make you pay. Yeah, but what are episode. words worth? Yeah. That's not Some a bad idea. Make you millions. Some of these no I'm one will ever to get. For the common good is like this one. To move on to the house arrest announcements. This one, I think. All those no, who say, I'm not going to say. I have only yeah. one thing to say. Jeff off. That's Jeff and messed up, Dubs. What the Jeff happened to you? Jeff. Yeah. Nothing, actually. Jeff just getting the word out on the new slang word that's been taking the Jeff and House by storm. Well, yeah, this one a is dead guy once Jeff said that away. about Jeff Hardy. If you don't like it, you oh. can Jeff off. Well, God damn it, now you just ruined the entire season for Tonight, me. <laughs> today, or any time is the right time for the new origami group forming. Oh, Dubs, you think I just love all kinds of noodles? Can't we just leave that in the past? Honestly, I don't follow you. You unfollowed me on Bleeder? <gasps> uh-huh. No, because I ne was never following you to begin with. Just not sure why you're talking about noodles after I mentioned or Very rude. Wait. Did you I think, think it's I said funny that she'd be mad and if I'm he wasn't? In my cap. <laughs> you're 5150. Anyway, 
If you're interested in joining Origami Club, tell this was something I ended up dropping. Like, you in from season week, two specifically, like, I definitely that kept making dubs talk like a cowboy. In and in yeah, season three, I, I was trying to dubs. make him talk like Thankfully, a prisoner. A lot of other people and, just you know, there's some lingo in the early episodes that got in. I think 5150 might be one of the last ones. Yeah. Remember that one. I liked it. Just, just yesterday, he said like, he was falling in love. How many people know prison week, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if they do, you got a unique audience. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Good point. Probably got a body of them too. Just be careful, Bell. I don't want you doing the Dutch. Actually, I think he's Greek, and I'm really hoping. Oh no! There's a whole bunch of them. Just don't. Oh no! I'm taking my headphones off. I don't want to listen to Here, let me turn it up then. <laughs> no, she's gonna tease me again. <laughs> Going out to dinner, probably somewhere that serves up free. But Cathania liked it. You there? He's a cat. What the? Yeah, he's kind of stupid, so I don't know if that helps. But so is Belle, so I mean. Uh, Yes, let's get on with it. Beautiful. All eyes will be on former boss from LFCC Radio, Jeff Jefferson, as he is expected to make an official announcement on a run for mayor of Los Santos. Wait, Jeff Jefferson is running for I mayor I like how of we Los took Santos? ownership of Jeff this yeah. season. Because uh, Mr. Jefferson's speech will broadcast we, live we on CNT. Brought Jeff Jefferson in and kind of gave it to him. Yeah. <laughs> Why does all this bad news keep happening to me? Maybe this news will brighten your day. Do you remember Tate Magnum of Magnum Industries? How could I forget? His Bell's, his Bell's shining moment. Dead, Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Shot to death by his own t-shirt cannon. The Crapless.com streetwalker will no longer be receiving the Green House Award as she's been arrested for jaywalking one while crossing the street with meet with her next job. <laughs> Guns. This, of course, means the award is up for grabs again. It's the t-shirt bit was pretty good. I can just feel it. Ha <laughs> ah, ha, yes. Oh, well, I don't know, says, uh... The Magnum Bell Foundation has Greenhouse Award will be presented to his songs in two episodes in a row, and I swear it wasn't intentional. Chosen for quite literally yeah, it, being on the well, we didn't record or the write them in order, so it's not like we keep track of that kind of thing. Highs and broaching yeah. Yeah. topics. She's directly responsible. There's a lot of songs this season. A lot of songs. The award ceremony will be next week. If I may interject here, Dubs, Millie was my great, 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 great grandmother. She's a huge inspiration to me and why I got this job. Oh, I love Billy. Cool. <laughs> now over to you, Bell, at the Magnum Industries Greenhouse. This complete death. dismissal by Dubs. 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 Cool. Dubs up. I, I, I think initially I wrote cool. cool, cool, Thanks cool, cool. <laughs> I was like, I've got this. that's too much. That's too much cool. Dun, 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 dun. Breaking, Breaking news. news. Uh, okay. Thanks for the intro. The grammar police have apprehended known offender they they your for overuse of apostrophes, <laughs> misuse of personal pronouns, and denial of the Oxford comma. Captain Kelsey of the grammar police released a statement indicating that your will undergo questioning before charges will be announced. Grammar? Oh, now it's a crime to not speak good like grammar is important for effervescent communication. It's, not, it's a crime to speak Don't not good like. Good like. Deal. So good. So sensitive. Grammar? You're saying. I'm sensitive, but you ain't too keen on all the trapping and whatnot. You don't have cool. to be so defensive. Just speak with scruples and no one will bombast you. I ain't even being defensive, doll. I don't need no bombs, neither. Mm -hmm. Don't forget what I told you. I like how this is episode Humans two. We already moved away from like the news story. So it I needs mean, to like, be our reasonability to do it, it, it comes back to the news being the center of of it but don't like you it, plead your it really gets away from bell yeah a lot don't bother this to explain you know what like, i don't even want to see your face anymore every just go one. back to the rock you <laughs> dithered out from under like, okay oh my it's scrambled just, eggs all over yeah. my face this new segment seems to have lost <clears throat> its way i guess we did get a little off track so stupid <laughs> so <laughs> dumb you know what they say, face bill. when the lettuce is mudded throw it away toss salads 
Right. I mean, good news is we've we got Kelsey Grammer in there. <laughs> Might as well. One free body pillow from Senior Pillows. Bleed the word sleep at Bell and Dubs. You know what the That's kids sleep. like these days? S-L-E-P. Frasier. Yeah. Coming up after the break, <laughs> the inmates compete in a physical challenge for a the show first about time ever. White Fawn House yeah. Arrest. I don't know that I ever liked Frasier. <laughs> Hola, <laughs> <Yo>. mis amigos. <laughs> May Lamo is Miguel Lintball, owner and distributor of Senior Pillows, based right here this in Orlando County. Shop local, buy local folks here at Senior Pillows. We specialize so in making Scott the softest pillows and, uh, on the market. Our secret, they're filled with powder. Over and over and over again. Our pillows are handcrafted right here in Los fast Santos. Enough. The finest dealers like, do it again. Do it again. Best. Right now, do some and do it pillow, again. <laughs> we'll throw in completely free of charge several pounds of coffee beans in the packaging to ensure like your pillows get right past the I dogs mean, and safely pillows. to your own. <laughs> For <laughs> just $500, your senior pillows will change your sleeping habits forever. Forever. You may never sleep the same way again, but don't take my word for it. Here's a <laughs> testimonial from a real senior pillows customer. <laughs> I bought a pillow from this limp who didn't hit his out of sight. I mean, my eyes haven't closed in days and my teeth is, but man, oh man, does That's that good shit. Good, good <laughs> sleep. Underlay, underlay. That's in your pillows. Put it on your bed for your head. Here's I love that it's just cocaine gum guy. Leslie <laughs> Hi, I'm Leslie High Five. <laughs> like the same <laughs> one and everything. One hell of a so rug. Buy some <laughs> senior <laughs> pillows. I've had that stuck, in, that just yeah. that jingle part right there. You're stuck broadcasting in my head. Not even with a joke. in the morning. Live on the internet. Just like. Bye, some senior fellows all the time. Say you're someone like Laszlo Jones, who's not talented enough to get hired by Los Santos Community College Radio. Mm. How do you get your show out there? Hey, Dad. You make a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> What's a podcast? That's the million dollar question, Bell. It's kind of like a radio show. Only you have to find your uh, own sponsors if you want to get paid. Sounds like a lot of work. I like to let the nerds handle the technical stuff. Don't you dare dial Lester. I had a lot Use of fun doing that Senior Pillows instead. commercial. It maybe would have put my head through the wall, but <laughs> the uh, the Anchor. video version. That costs a lot. Nope. Oh yeah, the video Anchor version is totally free. But it was Yay, so worth it. More money left over for tonics. Now the the uh, Leslie yes. High Five part. Well, did we already know we were going to bring her back at this point, or did we just make mm -mm. a... It's so easy, even I can do um, yeah. so Originally, made, you just had her do that line. To get started um, okay, yeah, that was like for audition, basically. Yeah, basically, like, you, you got it back, and you're like, wow, that was really, really good. <laughs> and fast. <laughs> yeah. It's important. Well, it's because uh, there was me doing it and her doing it, and we're both a powerhouse of busy bodies. <laughs> Pretty decent sandwich in the kitchen today. If you're up, we for love it. Trina. She's great. Yeah, that's right. We made dough. Pretty decent well, sandwich in the kitchen today. I guess we'll today. see if you guys are the jammer. Bell, it's only three in the afternoon, and you're drinking? Mm-hmm. Someone brought us all this free beer. I don't know why anybody complains about prison. This is great. <laughs> Ugh, <you're gonna> <laughs> chances to get out She's of here. so stupid. So the... <laughs> She's just genuinely enjoying prison. That's the craziest part. It's just so I mean, it's skewed. A party house. It's a party house back. reality show. It she is. Like house arrest. Real prisoners. <laughs> Today's what everybody challenge does. is a true test of skill and nerve. What you're about to witness will blow your mind. <laughs> because only the strongest survive a thrilling game of beer pong. Oh, beer pong. <laughs> cheeks. Yes, I oh, am ready. Beer pong. Really? <laughs> You obviously know the game. Perfect for the Ten audio format. Cups of mm -hmm. ice cold piss water mm -hmm. beer sit on either side of this table. So we actually kind of made a joke about that in the the Lost Santos uh, true crime thing, where she she's talking to somebody and she's like, oh. A radio show on TV? That almost sounds two. almost as exciting Brandon as a TV Robert, show on the radio or like as a podcast. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like if you're really paying attention, you can hear me write stuff like where I'm making fun of us. <laughs> well, that's the best. And that's the best kind of writing where you're just kind of taking a small dig at yourself, but having fun with it, you know? Yeah. I got a whole box of those back at the try I think in season two, it was like, Who cares about you would think with all this work they put into this, they would get we better writers. <laughs> the parole board hmm. so they let us out of here. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Stuck Check with me. Not allowed. Sorry. No good writing. <laughs> oh, that was, go that was self-referential completely. You're going down, nerds. <laughs> Ooh, drink, drink, drink. 
Listen. Do you know how many times I took a red solo cup and threw it around my kitchen while holding a microphone? <laughs> See, that's the content we need. She's taking a video. It's you just bonk, bonk. I started getting way too into it and I was afraid I was going to break something. Oh. I like that you guys do make most of your own audio cues when you can. Well, no, like, honestly, this season we've done a lot with, um, we had a, um, like a sound effects subscription thing and we use freesound.org a lot, like to the point that when they harass me to donate, I'm like, yeah, here's 20 bucks. Here we go. Like, thank you. It's worth 20 bucks a year. We follow the way of the turtle. sounds like animal abuse. And so a lot of uh, here's here's something. Of uh, oh, a lot of Fred's lines here we ripped regard. from Red we Dead. Like it's this is canon. Yeah, like it's real Chelonianism. Oh, it's an ancient religion, yeah. and it is known that everything I didn't know is that. true. We believe that one day. I guess it makes sense because a lot of the stuff from season two was Red Dead based. Where we so, can yeah. and, and me having not played it, into uh, a that makes a sense why I didn't know. Like but that is cool, you did that. Yeah, just, we had to just take go through and dig up a, uh, mm -hmm. blah, blah, the Chelonian blah. pamphlet and uh, zoom in and find the words. And... <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Computer enhanced. Keep reading. Hardcore research. It was just great that they gave us such fantastically stupid content that we could just use. I, I honest you, to God, I safe. thought you guys just made up some dumb safe stuff about turtles. Like, I wouldn't have known. Because that's, it, it's so silly enough that you, you wouldn't know that that was just but, in Red Dead. I'll do just about anything With us, it could be song lyrics. Thanks you don't know. Yeah, it could be anything. You don't know. We have to do you, don't you don't know. Black. You don't know. It's all in the pamphlet, friend. <laughs> now give me some mail. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Hmm. Robert's performance down. in uh, in beer pong is this. tremendous. Yeah, Robert Robert is in his element in beer pong spinning. for sure. Congratulations, Fred and Robert. You're well You'll known. Move on to the stand. final round. <laughs> Bell and I am. You're up. Yes. So he's like he's like my son. So ready. Ready. <laughs> so I can't ready help for it. All out assault of straight cheeks. Oh, what would you do if Robert. Daniel just said Robert? Um, well, that's fine. He that's fine. Basically, does all the time, started. anyways, just by meowing so all the time the robbing people part, and bothering really me when I'm that. streaming and literally but no other comments. Laws. <laughs> well, that right? see, <laughs> that's the great thing about Chelonianism. They can't come Somewhere after you here, since like you're protected by mix. freedom of religion. If you actually do take the time God, to listen to this, America. folks, uh, and crank it. I don't know where it is, but one of the funniest things I wrote for Dubs, the table must be a skid. Well, you, <laughs> you just no. set the ball on your own side. I Listening back to that, I was lose. like, I need to go back you and crank it up. It said to, to put it in the background behind everything, but I love that. Beer? And I, I felt like <laughs> I got buried. No. See, that's what I'm talking about. Bell is the antithesis of the Chelonian way. Your mother's the antithesis. Your mother's the antithesis. <laughs> so what do you say, Chet? You ready to dedicate your life to the way of the turtle? Yeah, sure. I can see. Uh, um, okay, you're going to need uh, these seashells. Otto was saying that he, the, the lobster line in episode one was a lot of fun, but the beer pong was the most fun for, Carry for Robert. The shells with you, yeah. one in each hand, Which is fair. You, show yeah, he's like taunting you and, the shells of you know, truth. Should just drinking and having a good time. In the script, we would just write Robert taunting. That's it. There's no line. <laughs> yeah, he, what else is he going to... Robert only says Robert. Except yeah. for Robert. Aggressive. Yeah. Robert. Excoriation. Yeah. Robert, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Robert question mark? <laughs> I think it's time to call this game for Fred and Robert. I am Robert! Yeah, great job slinging those balls, Robert. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your piss oh. awesome floor track suits. Let's move on and see what the audience thinks about your performances. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going rogue in the back. Every week we have our audience chime in. I did really appreciate that Bella's just like, role. fuck it. Uh, yes. I like this Excited game. I'm going to lose. Yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. That's what, that's what Bella does. On the line, we have she's Henry. here for a good time, but also a long time because she's here for a good time. Excellent. Very <laughs> long time. Yeah. Sing in. Extra, extra, hear all about it. Newsboy calls in to television show to cast vote. Ooh, I can't wait I to hear this, this one. So extra, cute. extra, 
Inmate excited to hear news boys vote. Henry, are you trying to sell <laughs> newspapers over the phone? Because we are definitely not interested. Oh, ew. Spam call. Just hang up. Extra, extra. Inmates act like jerks to news boy. Sways his vote to Fred and Robert. The power <laughs> of the turtle comes through again. Robert. Oof. So Didn't cute. expect him to make such a stink. That is my son, and he is there. so proud of that. Julie, yeah, yeah he should be. be. That's so good. We have Pratt Wildly. Yes, great. Let it rip, Pratt. Zing in. <laughs> Seems we might have a bad connection, Pratt. Yo. Can you repeat yourself? <laughs> For not what above language fart jokes. is that? <laughs> no. That's right. That there is, that is one a Chelonian dialect. Mr. Pratt Whitley just voted for us. Bueno. I think it's safe <laughs> to move on, Jilly. Up next is the return of Gumtooth Eddie. Thanks for zinging in, Eddie. We, we, we wrote that and we're like, how the hell do we much, make that a language joke? Thanks for that. And thanks, everyone, for taking my vote. <laughs> well, I remember when, when um, vote, I, would I think like I called the Bell and Dub's phone number, uh, and I just made Eddie. fart noises on the phone, I'll and it translates you. it into text, and it thought I said bueno. No, my name is Eddie. Tabard goes, well, what the hell do I do for language? He's like, I don't know, maybe he doesn't like French. He's like, okay, got it. <laughs> Up next, we have Brad, my name is who insists Eddie. he isn't one of Chet's associates from Try Hard Promotions. So this is um, our friend Amanda's like fiancé. Man, I just wanted to say, person. I think Chet was wrongfully arrested. I thought Flaming Doofus was a resounding success. Oh, um, yeah. Before they threw me in here, I was reading the a really great review my I had written too. about myself. It's the best one I made. I have to say, mind blown. That is, in part, what I was calling. I read the review. Your grammar was terrible. <laughs> hey, Brad, why don't you just read the card I sent? <laughs> well, Chet, the joke is on you. This is actually Captain <laughs> Kelsey of the Grammar Police. <gasps> The old switcheroo. Nice. I'm calling to inform you. You have a grammar ticket waiting of for course, you when you get like out. Switcheroo. Also, regarding my vote, much like correcting people's grammar, I don't do it to be popular. I'm voting for Fred and Robert. Oh, sorry, Chet. Are you okay? <laughs> the shot is amazing. Don't touch I just me. Saw it. Copernicus calls. The best and you're one. not the center of the universe. The producers have counted the votes. Looks like it's a win for Fred and Robert this week. Congratulations, mm -hmm. you're free. Honestly, you never had to be here in the first place, but it sure was fun meeting you two. <laughs> amen and amen and amen. Didn't they just like Give thanks for randomly the say we want to participate on the All show right, and they were like, yeah, sure, the why not? Fancy pants track yep. suits. These people say they're from the past the and they volunteer to be in prison? Well, this has been quite the I mean, journey. they did commit That's a lot of crimes, nice but we don't know that. Apps. This week on House Arrest, the organizer of the failed the show's just fest was fucking finally brought to justice. Just insanity. My own ancestor was recognized for her contribution. This is still when it's tame. Mm -hmm. Robert once right. It's even hit it. And there I remember thinking right. like we'll the idea of beer pong was House like arrest. a good idea on paper until we tried to like write it for sound effects. And I was like, okay, it came out okay. It's just like in comparison to what we do later, it's like I'd be goddamn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, God damn. I'll well, be it, it, Just like when we were writing season one, like we, we thought one of the jokes early on was like the pe like the improv jokes, the yes ands. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're like, oh, this this is the peak. This is great. And the the cow sound when she says oh, she plays yeah. farm town. We thought that yeah. was like the best bit we've ever come up with. Yeah. <laughs> and then by, by the end, we're having uh, men versus women in a civil war battle with uh, laundry pods. With laundry pods. Exactly. Like, okay. Well. <laughs> Wild. That we're wrong. <laughs> no, it, honestly, it it's crazy having worked again. I think we talked about this last time, but the last episodes we worked on versus the beginning because i mean obviously it happens every season where it just gets really insane by the end but mm -hmm. it just it's a different level because it's already starting out where you're like who who okayed this show <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean being the grand theft auto universe is insane that's true. like when you really like watch the the commercials and the cartoons and stuff that are on the background it's like we're not too far off no yeah, the stuff that you guys have would fit in that universe 
Just perfectly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hello, Rector. We're speaking directly to you now. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it, it's good, though. Um, uh, oh, uh, so now we get to do episode three, because we fell behind a week. Yay. I like episode three, because one of my new favorite characters joins. Because, of course, oh, they were one of my favorite characters. Yeah. Uh, but still, very exciting. Um, I guess, it, was there any last fun comments you want to make on the episode two before we do move into episode three? Um, oh, I had something and I forgot, like, twice. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fuyak. No comments. It'll be <laughs> yeah, I mean, we think of them later. It's not like we have a whole other episode to listen to or anything. I'm going to get a notepad and write some stuff down. I got That's a good idea. <laughs> I I never have much, like, too, too much to add. Uh, just because I feel like, for me, I'm, I am I show up and I record it and I'm like, all right, bye. And then I <laughs> go. Um, I do that, too. Oh, well, <laughs> you do it a little bit more, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But for the most part. Uh, that's what I do. Not always, but I remembered what it was. So there were some oh. bits that we wrote towards the beginning of the season. I we kind of dropped this too. Um, like we try to set it up to where like they were um, like when they went to the past season two. Here's all these things that they screwed up. Oh yeah, and like they changed the oh, future. Like so like stuff. like yeah. So like the cocaine gum guy, he's in the future as well as you know like because they basically somehow set that up or changed history or whatever um so every once in a while you probably can catch some stuff where it's like hey that's a reference to season two you know i mean you guys do lots of references to season one and two anyways um but i I definitely i've noticed that listening i'll 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 catch the real obvious ones of course but there there will be small ones i'm like oh yeah that was in that season um Mm -hmm. so you guys didn't keep a lot of the the time travel-y stuff in there? I think it was going to be a bigger part of the um, the plot, like the overall plot. Mm. Um, and it just kind of didn't go that way. Like, so you'll hear, like, I mean, obviously you heard, like, her mention Millie and, like, how she became popular and all this stuff, and that was probably something to do with them. Um, I do know that. And then, yeah. Yeah, and so that was a really obvious one that, that did play out, but then, like, we mentioned the lettuce, and it kind of just disappears <laughs> yeah. I, it comes back a couple times but it, 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 i feel like we just kept getting on a roll and we didn't we felt like we didn't need it like exactly yeah. exactly it was getting in the way of the the other stuff we were actually trying to do so we figured just kind of let it go and you well, know we hinted at it, it mm-hmm. it's still something that happened we just didn't play it up as much as we thought we would yeah no that and makes sense I don't remember how many more times after there was a point where I was trying to um, it's actually started in the prequel. Actually, Bell said, did I just fart in one of the um, one of the adventures <laughs> of Bell and Dubs? And I was trying to have Dubs take that and like, did I just uh, so like, I think there's like, did I just um, did I just echo or did I just predict? There's a couple of them. Yes. But that's mm. one of those that it started getting in the way and it's like, all right, well, you know, we'll, we'll just drop it. I don't, I don't know how far that got. That yeah. might be. It's, it's kind of a hit and miss thing. Like I know the, I did, I just predict comes up kind of later. Yeah. But, um, it's, it's here and there. And yeah. you know what? Something else we didn't do as much this year is our, our numbers. Like Haley, this was actually your idea to put like a number in every episode. Yeah. Just uh-huh. for no other reason than did I say like, that? <laughs> yeah, it was totally your idea. Um, like, I remember that. <laughs> I know Pixar does it. That's probably one of the most famous examples. Star Trek does it. Like, I think. Oh, like I'm you always mentioned a, like a, spe- a yeah. specific. Yeah, gotcha. No, that happens yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah, like. That does seem like something Star I would Trek, recommend, like... but I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just take credit for it. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm really smart. I'm like big brain <laughs> over here. I realized as we were listening back, I was like, I don't think we put it in that episode. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think it made it every episode, but it it definitely makes appearances, but mm-hmm. apparently. Yeah. Well, this season was just really hard to do because we're all doing it 
like online and mm -hmm. over the course of like a year and a half and there's you know threads got dropped or we just didn't notice that stuff didn't get put in that we meant to yeah, <laughs> yeah it happens i mean, I mean you, in like i've mentioned this before but you guys have a lot of little things that you'll bring up and do for the story so if something gets missed it it happens and there was a huge break in between which didn't help either because when you come mm -hmm. back to it, you went oh i remember this idea but then you forget the other few that you had talked about mm. Mm. yeah so it I happens. mean, like, to the point that we were changing lines as I was editing because I was like, oh, this doesn't make sense because we changed it later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you mentioned Just, that. Like, when you were going back and actually listening and putting the yes. clips together, you were like, uh, we don't do that one anymore. We need to change that. Yeah. It was um, actually something when I was doing the, um, the videos, too. Like, I was like, if we did this later, how do I visualize it for this? And we're like, hmm. Well, we're gonna have to change something here. Yeah. <laughs> scribble, scribble. <laughs> no, that that's the joys of editing. Yeah. Yay. What's editing? I'll say. No. If you guys ever do those that gag though, but I think that would be funny because I remember there was a a show that I liked where they would, you know, do a the number callback but make it really obvious where like sometime in the episode they would be like oh uh this thing costs like 650 dollars and then the this the more the main characters would always be like oh well i got it and he they'd pull literally like a, a wad of cash of just 650 dollars every episode and they'd be like all right paid for it. and then they just move on to uh -huh. the next bit i like this um, i like it so that kind of stuff is really fun especially when you make it more ridiculous versus like you know pixar they do like oh it's our it's our class number <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> for you guys you can make it something real ridiculous or something which oh yeah we've definitely done it because it's like it's actually two numbers mm -hmm. and sometimes mm -hmm. we'll put it all together and sometimes we'll like separate it sometimes it'll like yeah it'll just be like just stupid <laughs> like thinking, it makes no sense i was just thinking for uh season four aisle 46 aisle 46 and two <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. come back to that <laughs> I would say I've, I've missed it then, but that's okay. That's the joy of it, you know? Oh, they get to go re-listen. Get the ad money. <laughs> Dang it, you got me. <laughs> uh, all right, well, yeah. I guess let's go ahead and start the, um, the, the third episode. Yeah. Um, we'll start it in three, two, one. At the beginning of our show, Two enigmas from the past surprised us by volunteering to participate. They quickly robbed all our hearts the record, and wowed the audience with their performance one of my in last week's of drinking game. Two. Yeah. They're we'll such a good character. You guys aren't ready. Well, you're about to find out. <laughs> I I'm feel Dilly like Smaltz, and kind this of is this character House Arrest. Ivana Bynes, so. a notorious club queen, drag supermodel, and lady think... of the night. Blech. That's kind of what I don't Please think we don't had. I mean, we initially had plans impression. for like when people were going to come in and out, and, I do and then like the night, you know, we start writing a character and be like, oh, there's that. more legs here. Ivana is known for not only slaying it on the runway, but also slaying her and then victims I think furiously, specifically with this character, we wrote the character out too early. Ivana was arrested like, for street racing I think there's on more we can do. <laughs> Ocean Freeway. I mean, there's while her passengers shot flare guns and fireworks. Season four, bring back all the baddies. What? That's that's the goal. <laughs> I like cars, the cars that go bleh. Don't you mean boom? And speaking of blood, this performance. have you ever considered a, a fantastic job. becoming a blood donor? Uh, nobody said anything about blood. Bleh. Just let me into this house Didn't already. You describe it as like this a cross between Boris and this, uh, uh, Natasha. That's the yeah. spirit. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Ivana. You're I remember under when they sent the first, like the first audition. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're doing time with Bell and Dubs. I think I had one note. Live no. at the Vespucci Beach I don't what it was now, but Young like, and old, like gather around. Like There's rules and regulations to follow in this mm -hmm. house. Lean into number that. one, no one really, can it, rock a party it's, like it's I can. It's just so good. There's no it's, place for that. When you guys were writing it before the voice existed, I already liked the characters. Don't be jealous that I rock the North Vampire Dry Queen in the West. Yeah, exactly. And then the voice like really like just tied it all together. It was so good. Who's not just a drag queen, but also so, I drives race cars. Drag racer. Yeah. Please. An actual yeah. drag racer. So good. Just full circle. 
Oh, I love We're probably got purple. shit on them. <laughs> Somebody holler if you want to move on to the house arrest announcements. Holla! We should have written more purple house jokes. alliance recruitment mix yeah. tonight out at the cabana. This. If you're Team Leona, make winner, sure winner, you're Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Proud. If you're Team Bell and Dubs, <laughs> there is no Team Bell and Dubs. Of course <gasps> there is, Dubs. I signed us up as Team Captains. Confounded. This is something I think we All right, ended up... Your team Bell and I Dubs, think I kept sprinkling it into Bell's the announcements, on. but like the idea was right. that Bell was That's writing all the announcements. For me to even begin to wrap <laughs> like she would just slip around. a card oh, in and you. yeah. <laughs> I looked into the fridge earlier and realized that there was entirely too much honeydew. Not sure which one of you jokers went to yeah. the grocer's last. Honeydew's gross. You have to know of my disdain <laughs> for honeydew. This Look, isn't news. If literally you get it no like fresh honeydew, in season from like a farmer's market, it's amazing. But literally every other time of the year, disgusting. It's you go to that hotel. Uh, breakfast buffet, an and they've got like just a bowl of honeydew. Like it's going to taste like eating plastic. Exactly, this, it is eating plastic. I just want to let Ivana yeah. know how welcoming Vespucci beats prison. No, watermelon okay. superiority. Why? Jilly already gave a Nobody great invited you, honey. Duh, dude. Dubs. <laughs> Vampires have the charms of a god. They're the best teachers, you know. I told you Bell they were wrong. I vampire that's ass. Lost on you? <laughs> oh, I can't remember that. Like but we all would do the same. I'm available. That's Underneath why she's so relatable. Skirt, I'm exactly. really available. Well, that I've watched good. What We Do in the Shadows. You're interested in Bill's yeah. inmate mm -hmm. reveal party. She asked you to she, meet in yeah. I think there was the definitely some inspiration there because mm -hmm. we were like, we just made her up. obsessed Keep with vampires ever, ever since the um, season 2.5. Mm -hmm. park on an endless emoting story. And that was I've accidental, that too. He looks like I think you wrote something where, where she was, she was into it. He to Actually, I think technically it, it gets introduced in season two somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's the sand yes. vampire, Naturally. and she's she kind perks up a little. Yeah. But then that kind of we lean fun. into it in 2.5. Like I said, accidentally, I wrote something... That's what I call Actually, the, new, good the news bit in the Final Remember Fantasy VII Magnum? episode. Yeah. Wait, who? Tate Magnum of Magnum Industries. Still dead. <laughs> Not wearing a shirt that says, I sexually assaulted my interns and all I got was this lousy t-shirt and a lawsuit. That guy. Party. Well, Party. <laughs> the award they Party. gave to Millie Vanilli. Oh, that's messed up. She deserves it, but maybe now I have a chance? Right. Apparently, someone discovered that she was manipulating audiences with fake conflicts One of these fake news. and audience responses. One of these days. Uh, <laughs> fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Instead, the award will go to Leslie High Five, child star, singer, poster child for mental health awareness. Leslie has recently been in the news for desperate attention grabbing antics like making this out with again a was something we're like, well, Day we need reasons for Leslie High Five after a night of partying at yeah. to be in so it makes sense. Let's that write Maggie the character into this. No lines, but let's write the character. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked. It worked. It was a good way to just kind of like ease it in, basically. Because I think at this point, when you guys wrote that, it still wasn't fully like where she was going to come back. It was kind of just like. Yes, hey, Doug. look! I just said she, that last week. She, here's just like a, you know, our bit at the beginning where like somebody else hey, new is getting that a, sound means it's news a time. thing, you know? Dubs. Mm -hmm. The new sounder never arrived this week. Can you handle it? The can boos. Uh, yeah, so yeah. The, yeah. Things, the booing was the from squad need to season look into two. Why this keeps happening? Where we huh? um oh we just recorded uh, a bunch of people like it. booing. Let's go. And I had to mash it all together. Breaking news. News. A good idea. Hey, <laughs> speaking of party time, we've got some hot news. No, yeah. It, I remember recording from some of those members of the Los Santos party party. Yeah. Honkers There's like a whole list of different sound effects that we had to do. To compete with downtown cab and company. Matt being Matt. Just Service do a bit called just Bumper go. and Grind. <laughs> <laughs> Great name. I want to hire their marketing department. Promises to escort patrons to their destinations while driving in the news. Oh, to schedule go. a ride, <laughs> you can either call Honkers Gentlemen's Club at 555-341-10. That's 555-341-TITS. Or download the Bumper and Grind app. Now available can't say it, but can spell it. Device. Yep. And in case you're wondering, yes, they graciously accept tips wherever you'd like to leave them. Oh. I think this is great. Downtown Cab Company has had a monopoly in Los Santos for too long. About time somebody spiced things up in this town with some new ideas. What an awful thing. Then why are you taking the number down? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> You know, if I were about 20 years younger and not in the slammer, I'd sign up. It would be a quick way to earn some Benjamins. Gotta fund your tonic habit somehow. 
Dubs, you know I'm in recovery. Yeah, bitch. Anyways, <laughs> critics Rude. of Bumper and Grind are calling for. for Los Santos PD to arrest the driver <laughs> for the avatar exposure. Drinking hey, in the background. <laughs> oh no! Oh Sunday no! Anyway. Just like Dubs, you know I'm in recovery. Hey, but vampires. in episode two, she's you like drinking like a like fish. Like well, well, she only swore off tonics. Yeah, yeah. She, didn't, she never swore off alcohol. Fair. 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 That does sound familiar. Why don't do I ever get picked to be a vampire bestie? Hmm. Oh no, more singing. I've been looking oh, for a no. familiar. Kind of turn it up. Oh, would you? Yes. I love this bit, bro. <laughs> really grueling. You have to I love this bit going into me. the. Help me talk my business. Loosen my log. Bell doesn't mug. care. She's just like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. yes, please. Pick up the <laughs> junk in my trunk. Polish my headlights. Yes. I mean, you have to do whatever I say. Yes. Oh my gosh. Come, my child, and do my evil bidding. Serve me, love me, for real, say I'm not kidding. Yes, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> I'm familiar with familiaring. Together I don't know how you guys talk when you're doing a musical. <laughs> and this was the last music season <laughs> ever. Dubs, I'll serve you his fame juice. <laughs> I confuse Chris. <laughs> Enough with the singing already. This is you telling me. Dubs, are you okay? Did all that traveling through time mess with your head? Perfectly fine. I just don't know why you're carrying on with a musical number when we have to get to the sponsors. Oh, okay. Belle would stop and sing though. <laughs> Today's Bell and Dubs prize pack includes a $25 gift certificate to any Ferrari's Flavor City restaurant. That's probably why Dubs think well. The word creamy at Bell and Dubs. That's I can't no spoiling. <laughs> Thanks, Bell and Dubs. After the break, we'll have a very special guest, Todd Ferrari, host the very first prison edition of Dude's Day. Dudes. Oh God, Todd Ferrari. Forgot this. <laughs> oh <laughs> yo. Los Santos, wretched hive of scum and villainy, armed robberies, the drugs, party party. murderers, hookers on every street corner. Party. 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 <laughs> now that's my kind of town. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff Jefferson, station manager at Los Santos Community the College Radio, and I'm also running for mayor of Los Santos. Representing the party. Just makes me think of party. like the nightclubs. Mayor Frank yeah. Vaughn wants to I mean, stop you from having all the fun. I was trying really hard to think about what music to put in the background. Like, wait a minute, they gave He's this music. He's threatened to close the Vanilla I'm Unicorn that. Gentlemen's Club, <laughs> restrict the casino, so, and even party roll party back is the only party election which party allows you to ever be in. medicinal cocaine. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's true. Frank Vaughn they wants to take away your children's right to own weapons. I, Jeff Jefferson, am an advocate for children's gun safety. Last year, I became chairman of the Less Learn and More Shooting program. Founded in Strawberry 1897, the program ensures the right of every child to protect themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I am the one. I stand for more <laughs> nightclubs, more strippers, more medicinal The cooking. little kid no is so good. No alimony for after extramarital affairs. Vote for me, Chris's Jeff Jefferson, daughter, right? and let's yeah, keep Los Santos the Jeff and party so capital cute. of the West Coast. Party. party. <laughs> Your so I know, like, I remember when we first morning. wrote that, it was supposed to be like, he was going to be the very straight laced guy. He was going to be like, oh, this guy's got hookers and drugs and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And uh, like, he was going to be against it. And then Justin was like, wait, wouldn't it be the opposite? <laughs> like, wouldn't it be funnier if it was, he was trying to make it like a worse city? <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because he's still talking like he is the straight laced guy, but he's like, yeah, kids should have guns, hookers, all this stuff. But he's saying it like, like it's just a normal thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Insane, so good. Costs a lot. Nope. Like, Best of all, I don't know how he totally and Bell free. even Yay, hooked up at all at the beginning. Pirates. Like, it doesn't uh, make any sense. Yes. Well, no. well he, he still likes maybe have to be. Uh, partying so and easy. stuff, but he just pretends he all looks say, like he doesn't. Download the Anchor That's probably how. Go to anchor.fm to get started today. That's A N C H O R. Oh, we gotta get more bits for Otto's daughter. Mm hmm. That's mm -hmm. so cute. It's the pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> Ferrari is on set. All 
inmates to the kitchen for physical challenge. Ugh. I cannot believe my husband, Jeff, is running for Jeff and Mayor. <laughs> I can't believe it, Dubs. I think he's going to divorce me. That seems pretty likely. Mm, yeah. Good thing I'm still talking to that stud from Farm Town Only. <laughs> oh, my man Chad Ferrari. Like, honestly, How's Bell life? and Jeff You're are both Todd terrible. Hey, that's what that's why they're the actually right getting. <laughs> you ruined my Technically. life flaming dude fest, <laughs> mm -hmm. Chad. I had to change my name because of you. Good for you, though. It's You asked me to make gourmet meals. I ordered the food. You canceled and never paid me. And then you asked me to make peanut butter sandwiches? Son, we. I get <laughs> Chet. I went bankrupt. On Jilly in five, <laughs> four, three, two, oh, get one. Fuck. Welcome back oh. to House Arrest. He had auditioned for a different part, and we're like, moment you've all been no, but we right have something else for the that first you can do with time. that angry voice. <laughs> Chef Todd Ferrari with us. Todd. Hey, I'm Todd Ferrari, and I'm locking up at prison here on Dudes Day Duels. When I'm not rolling out to check out the There's finest restaurant in Los Angeles, like, just call me the, the, the get fucked chip. Pink sandwich <laughs> kills me. So out, good. Yeah. There's a line coming sackies. up here. I like those As he's introducing it, see how much dodge people can mm -hmm. fit into their mouths. We're here at the Vespucci Beach Prison House with five contestants, with their wits and their pie holes. The one who eats the most pigs in a blanket will get a case of junk energy drink. Let's meet our contestants. I don't want Ooh. to do this. You don't have a choice, buddy. <laughs> Next. I'm Belle, and I'm no stranger to putting wieners in my mouth, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> we might have to edit that for TV. <laughs> Next. Here's the thing. I'm a vampire. I can only eat blood. I probably won't be able to win this. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Next. My name is Leona. And are these made from actual pigs? I think I you're a tad that. confused, Leona. <laughs> he had a couple. Next. Like, he had one where like, he's Chet. yelling it. And, you and then there was that one. Dying in a fire, Dying Chet. In fire I was like, Chet. oh, that's the one. <laughs> now, as you can see... Each contestant has a plate of 50 pigs in a blanket. Ugh. We're going to start a countdown, and whoever's eaten the most at the end Don't of the timer punch. will be the winner of a case of junk sports drink. Inspired by my own signature flavor, Donkey Punch. Don is everybody I ready? The, do I get any wine to wash this, this down with? It was Donkey Punch. This and is not vampire I got business. really disappointed. Let the reckoning begin. <laughs> what the hell? Everyone watching. Yeah, everyone watching needs to know that this world is bullshit. Okay, everyone, oh, wow. let the contest <laughs> So, begin. one day, and we're off to as, a strong start as, ha as happens, pigs. Jenny messages okay, me and goes, hey, will you make some weird mouth noises? <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. Still determined. I'm not doing nothing. Well, his face is in the plate. And then and I the think a couple weeks later, I well, got another wait, file from you, you that says, yes. uh, episode contest number 597 gone, of me making weird you. mouth noises into a mic. Yes. So good. I can Just only eat blood uh, and only describe me as blood. weird mouth noises. This is not blood. <laughs> you know? It's a contest, buddy. Mm -hmm. You have to participate. Like Look, the tag at the end on this one. This we didn't boil these Listen. babies in the holy water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got more evil business. Oh. Hey, on your phone? No. Aren't the stakes a little oh, high for stupid that? Stupid proud of that. No. no. Those things would kill me. Oh, kill How me. do you even have a smartphone in prison? Vampire business. We're so here good. Right we right <laughs> I think I'm going to be. I remember sick. trying to record that line and I was like, the ball this? I literally stuck my fingers in my mouth. <laughs> you can kind of tell. So far, she's really but in a good way. <laughs> Yona's having a day. Dubs is a trooper. And, uh, let's just forget about the vampire for now. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. <laughs> and ladies and okay, so with yeah, me. my my weird Four, noises in the background three, was Bell just being one, like almost sexual, <laughs> eating hot dogs. Uh, no, like, like mm, mm, all right, food mm, 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 bro. It's down to two contestants. <laughs> Bell has two pigs left on her plate. Can I have that wine now, or? Prison hooch would do. I usually have no problem swallowing after putting wieners in my mouth, but. <laughs> but Chet's plate's completely empty. Ladies and gentlemen, Chet is our winner. I told you Suspicious. all. This is my reckoning. Wait a minute. Put me over the table and I'll shut up. 
Anybody <laughs> else noticing what's in Chet's pants? Oh? Oh my. I wish I could have put that wiener in my mouth. <laughs> Jesus. You can have the wieners. <laughs> I just want to drain that main vein. I think your note there oh, was just spicy. Sticky <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> that sounds I like something I do. I don't remember that, but into his I believe it. I have no clue what you're talking about. Come on, Todd. Bill obviously ate more than Chet. I'm just going by the plates, man. Where people put their wieners is their own business. <laughs> well, if I had known that was allowed. I'm clearly the winner. You guys are just talking about a rigged direction. Yeah, <laughs> our producers asked Chet to remove his pants. Look. I can't do that. I don't want to be responsible for getting all the viewers pregnant through the television if I unleash the beast. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to. Or be disqualified for parole. Fine. Uh -huh. Why do they oh, sell like that? I haven't seen that many wieners <laughs> slide out of a man's pants <laughs> since Oscar Mayer paid There's a visit to my hotel room the other night. Oh, gotcha. Lord knows I have. Yes. Sorry, Chet. I'm told that we're going to have to disqualify you. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I guess the prize goes to the runner-up. <laughs> Give a hand for our winner, Belle. And Yay. your prize is my junk. Enjoy oh. your trip to Flavor City. Woohoo! <laughs> Give me that donkey punch. <laughs> I knew you were coming again one day, Belle. I can't wait <laughs> to get out of here. Join us next time for the Triple D Dudes Day Duels coming at your face. Bell has won some junk, but I like how the viewers agree Jilly and, grant her and or the producers just kind of make up the rules yes. as they go along. Perfect. They're like, mm -hmm. Can't wait you're going to be disqualified. Here, Let's line okay, up you're so disqualified from in. winning. Yes, Dub. Yeah, you're, like, you're disqualified you anyways. Get... <laughs> it's like real, real reality TV shows. Andrew. Exactly. Andrew? What a way to get it going. Andrew, zing in. Thanks for taking my call, but you might not like what I have to say. This I is know Scott's what I son. want and how to get it from you. All right, you fight that fight. Yeah, Chet was working all night, so if Bell we wins, then nothing feels all right. Things. So when it's time to vote, <laughs> I'm Free labor. Chet. Way to go, Chet. Let's get a party <laughs> going. Flog and Lou. Flog and Lou. Not invited. But you aren't invited. <laughs> oh. I need to get that invite. Also. Chet broke the rules? Guys like Chet and myself never listen to your rules. We do what we like and like what we do. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. <laughs> well, God damn pigs, partying man. is hard. That's right, Dubs. Party hard, party hard, party hard. Up next, the world-famous <laughs> pastry man is a ringin'. All hail. All right, great. I really want to go. Come on, pastry man. Zing in. I was dreaming when I called you, so forgive me if I vote the wrong way. Don't worry, pastry man. You won't hurt us. There's yeah. no wrong vote. Well, my mind says prepare to fight to get out of here. But maybe that's just me. They say life ain't nothing but a pastry and pastries weren't meant to last. I just want y'all to have some fun. <laughs> I oh. could have sworn it was voting time. <laughs> Zero, zero, oops, call is over out of time. I'm voting for Chet. <laughs> Just stop well, singing. And then... Check out my SoundCloud. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Next on the line is the Hotel Harris and renowned socialite, Milan Richmond. Getting kind of hot in here. Milan, hot. zing in. Hot. Did I just predict? Oh my gosh, girl. I can feel the glitter through the phone. This is Earth. Isn't it hot? The weather in Los Santos is pretty perfect, generally speaking. <laughs> oh. Everything I do gets blown out of proportion. When Milan has to pee, Milan has to pee. Mm-hmm. Party. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what you think this is. I don't really think. <laughs> I'm just going to vote. Chet, come hang out. Oh, snap. I got nothing else to promote. Free the sun we... We are never getting out of here. Get out of here? I've already gotten nope. free beer and wieners. <laughs> no complaints. We have another call on the line. That's like a point, though. Come tooth, Eddie. <laughs> Lovely. Eddie. Hoping you've got it all under control. Oh, no, Eddie. Sing in. I cannot apologize enough for my previous outburst. I don't know what came over me. This will be the last you'll hear of it. As it will never happen again. Whenever I get angry, never. I like to lay never, around ever. and not do much of anything. I thought you weren't going to do slop method anymore. Math! Math! Oh, I hate parties! You always got to be standing around a bunch of people you don't know any of them, and you might know like one person, and they don't have anything for you. And then you get them out and say happy birthday to a stranger, and you make eye contact with them, and they're like, who the hell is this guy? I think it's happy birthday to me. I don't even know this guy. 
I guess I'm gonna vote for Chet. Now give me some more. Now give me some well, more. Bro. The people have spoken. Chet Dickinson has been paroled. I just want to <laughs> thank all of my loyal fans out there. See you at the next Flaming Dude Fest. Well, I think that... Fantastic attempt up. Ivana joined the house and Belle is mesmerized. <laughs> Shut I think the this front is where door. we adopted Todd that. Won't let mm-hmm. off the hook we realized we accidentally did it like fiasco. three times in a row. We're like, but well, Chet's fans why is it an accident? Let's, yeah, let's Despite his it. disqualification from the contest, he still won for it on purpose. And we'll see you next time in House Arrest. Don't forget to follow us on Bleaker and Snapmatic at Bell and Dubs or call 661-214-3038 to zing in. Moist. 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 <laughs> Moist. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, that has to be the tag. Can we just trigger people at the very end of the show? Moist. Uh, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Just that's the only way to trip. do it. Mm-hmm. Really? How can we make people annoyed? That's that's how you get more listeners. Uh, you that's just right. play Bell and Dubs uh, any episode. You know? That's how you get annoyed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, no, I... I that's obviously another really good episode. I just love Ivanya a lot, so I am biased, but mm-hmm. it's, it's so good. Um, yeah, Ivana is is one of my favorite characters, uh, like probably the entire season. It was just so mm-hmm. much fun, and there was a couple times that I was like, "We should just we should have written more lines in." They yeah. could have had the more lines. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was. I think it's like episode five, and we'll get there. Like. They were on the call. I felt bad because they didn't have very many lines that episode. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. We definitely dropped the ball on that one because, like, you know, underutilized. But yeah. uh, Vanessa came through with, like, a lot of stuff at the oh, last yeah. minute. It was like, hey, you you like singing, right? <laughs> Sing some more stuff. Yeah. Vanessa came through. They were through. like, holy shit, yeah. You mean I get to act and sing? And I was like... <laughs> You go for it. This, yeah, this is the kind of energy we need on this show. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's iconic. We're Ill, we're, honestly, I, yeah. I think for projects like these, you gotta have people that just love doing these kind of things, or like just testing or pushing themselves. Cause it is all just for fun in the end. Um, yeah. yeah. So if they're having fun, then it just it's gonna it's gonna translate really well in the show. And I think ev- like literally every time that she did a line it sounds like she was just fully in it you know Mm -hmm. which is why yeah so exciting yeah it definitely came across as the fun that it was Mm -hmm. um that whole recording session we did i was like laughing so hard my face hurt so (laughs) um yeah Again, it's it's one of those moments like the first time we heard we heard Leslie high five, the first time we hear Ivana bite it. Like mm-hmm. we're writing those characters and like we think they're funny and we're doing our little versions of the character and then when they come to life it's like oh whole like, other thing. Yeah, it's that's especially not when somebody it. does it like so well that they take it beyond what we even expected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was like, Oh, we gotta we gotta use this more. For mm-hmm. sure. Oh, I guarantee uh Ivana has a future <laughs> in in uh Bell and Dubs, the Bell and Dubs expanded, expanded universe. Expanded universe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if even if even if they're not on the the aisle or you know, no spoilers of what season four might be. But uh what? What? Mm-hmm. Uh, but <laughs> it's that's such a fun character. And yeah. I just I feel like we have a lot more that we can do with that. Because mm-hmm. there is a lot of bits that come with it, not only from just I mean they're a vampire one, and they're a drag queen, so there's jokes there, and then there's they are a drag racer, and then it just there's different aspects you can take the the jokes from in multiple places, and then like you said with when Vanessa does do the voices, it really just kind of. Um, over the top exactly it just it goes even further um so and probably honestly like if you ever have like ideas you could probably even ask her if she had ideas for the character because yeah she took it to like a whole other level so like she she very obviously really got into the character which was what was fun definitely 
So I liked in this episode, you can really start hearing the power struggle, I think, coming through mm -hmm. um, between Jilly and Dubs. Yeah. And it's like, after Dubs went through the whole thing with Enemy. the mayor in the last season. Enemy. I, I love watching him struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We be fighting this season. I think I think in uh, episode two, like he goes, line him up, Jilly. Like just kind of like how he always does. And she goes, yeah, I got it. Like yeah. it's my then, job. Yeah. <laughs> and then in, in episode three, she, she won't even let him say anything. She's like, nah, mm -hmm. like, don't worry. This is mine. I do this. Yeah. So it's it basically it mentality a... of I'm getting paid to be here. You're here not by your own choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, you're an asshole in jail. Yeah. You're, you, sir, are a prisoner. <laughs> you're an asshole in jail. I'm an asshole getting paid. Know the difference. <laughs> I think it was around this time, too, that I discovered what the Stanford prison experiment was as we were writing. And I was like, oh, this is the best material for research I've ever seen in my life. Um, so what it was was basically like a college did an experiment mm -hmm. like a psychological experiment where they're like we're yep. gonna pay you like 50 bucks if you do this thing we're like we're gonna you're gonna be prisoners these other people are gonna be guards and the guards like just immediately they started crazy. abusing their power yep i remember and i, I remember like, that i was like this is this is what we're doing right now we're, <laughs> shit and it was um so it was like also there was a um it was all from a tweet that i saw about drag race because they had separated them into like the winners and the losers and they were like welcome to drag race stanford prison experiment yeah edition it, or something it was like, like super obvious like the whole season they're like look who's here the winners and there would be like the one girl from the the losers half technically and it was like okay yeah. glad to be here yeah. and then it i mean it very clearly divided that season because i don't did any winners or any of the, the, the quote unquote losers make it to the last four? I don't think I, they did. I don't remember. I don't remember that season very well. <laughs> Me neither. Good that point. That was a weird year. <laughs> Good point. Um, but it was. I love it, it. It. What was I gonna say? Either way, it creates a large dynamic. That was more or less what I was gonna say. I think we initially had had we were going to write in a warden character and again like by now we'd realized oh we haven't written a warden character mm -hmm. oh, what, what if jilly is just kind of naturally taking that role she's like she's kind of leading the whole thing anyway yeah so we you know, leaned into that we we're like well we already have this character here let's let's use it mm -hmm. i think it i think it did help too because when you start, especially when you're on audio only, obviously me and a warden would probably sound pretty different if it was like a dude or something. But the more characters you start to, to bring in, I think the the more yeah. crowded it'll get because especially, I mean, obviously a lot of them are silly voices, but sometimes obviously you guys will reuse voice actors or something like that. Yeah. Um, and I mean, obviously I can usually kind of guess who they are but some people will start to sound the same um and that yeah, can just get it, confusing it does definitely help when like we tried really hard to not reuse the same actors even in the same episode if mm -hmm. possible unless yeah. if it was like one of the callers because i mean that's like 30 seconds of yeah. silliness yeah, yeah, yeah um but it's no. remarkable how much dubs and jersey joe sound the same it's crazy <laughs> i don't know why that is wild i'll be honest though <laughs> obviously i i know that they they are both you but <laughs> when when i first heard it you could have told me it was just somebody else and i wouldn't know mm -hmm. <laughs> so if, if it, i think when they go that far apart different it can be okay but i do think like when it gets to like not super crazy voices where it's like oh it's a silly vampire or it's jersey joe or um like it's uh, yeah real in character type of thing yeah like when it's like the dudes or like just the girls, they can be like, they're starting to sound the same a little bit. Um, mm. Obviously context helps, but sometimes there'll be times where I'm like, I don't, I sometimes do forget. Then that's my own fault for not paying attention. I'm not like I'm be driving <laughs> or something, but still, I think having less characters on an audio based thing is usually the best mm -hmm. just so that people 
at home yeah can follow along better yeah, like if we had visuals to go with it, it would be different. Um, I mean, I think Justin and I had this conversation once where we're like, you know, every character in South Park is Matt and Trey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because like there's there's a visual there and you can tell yeah. that, like one character is different from the other. Um, kind of related, like we actually had to change a character's name. Um, Todd, Ferrar- Todd Ferrari was originally Chad Ferrari in season one. Mm-hmm. And as we were writing this, I was like, if we have a character named Chet and a character named Chad, if somebody doesn't pronounce it exactly right, it's going to get real confusing. You guys wrote it in in a way that made sense, though. I wouldn't have caught that being the reason. Yeah, because we were like, "Uh, let's pick a different name, Todd. Yeah, (laughs) I think that worked out really well. Because again, too, like you said, you gave him a good reason, which was, I don't want to be associated with the mess that you made, Um, which makes sense. Uh, but no, Chet. Chet and Chad would have very easily gotten confused, especially because they if they were on the same episode. Um, mm-hmm. So because they weren't they weren't like a, a Chet Ferrari or Chad Ferrari. See, I'm screwing up now. Um, <laughs> he was not actually a character in season one. It was like a passing yeah. thing. It was mm-hmm. kind of like, what name can we make that sounds kind of like Guy Fieri, but not, but not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so now that we decided to give him a voice and like let him have dialogue, it was like, well, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. So. No. Big brain. Big brain. Occasionally, I have good Occasionally. ideas. There was a lot of that this season. Like we were very conscious of of the world we've already created and trying to make sure we weren't erasing something that we did, unless we were purposefully erasing, erasing something. It. Yeah. Right. No. Right. 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 Okay. One thing I love for this, at the end of this this show when they have the callers call in, again because this is in the the is just an insane world. I think it's so funny that they don't screen these calls before they come in, <laughs> and it's literally just like hookers and hobos calling in. <laughs> like... I mean, somebody must be doing it because Jilly knows who it is. Yep. She's like, oh, we have Gumtooth Eddie, and then the theme song. Like, yeah, his theme song plays. Well, that's what but I think. They don't care. It's, 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 yeah, it's like, it's interesting where, like, there's someone screening the call, but they're obviously not getting paid, and they just let them in and go, What's your name? and yeah. then pass them through. It's just arrest. wild. House arrest, who's your name? What's your name? Why are you calling? <laughs> yeah. Please hold. <laughs> but I say they already know why they're calling, they just need their name. <laughs> yeah. You're Thanks calling the vote? Them. All right. <laughs> it's so good. Like I said, especially in this episode, literally every caller, you're like, more, obviously all the time, you're like, why would they let these people on? But this time you're like, huh? Why, why are they on the, calling in? It's one thing, yeah, it's one thing what's on the radio at a community college. It's one thing when it's <laughs> a bunch of like, you know, rubes in a random theater. The, the, the theater was good because I think then it was like, oh, it's just unruly people yeah. in the crowd. And that, that I think was able to kind of let, right. let loose really well. But it's, it's so a funny. Network television. It's a network television with execs and directors <laughs> and uh, families at home watching. And you have fucking someone like Milan calling in. <laughs> Milan has the pee. Milan has the pee. <laughs> and a dude just ranting about meth every, and they every let episode. him through every single time. And every they know it's him. Time. And yeah. they're like, yeah. Every dag on time. Every dag on time. <laughs> well, he apologizes. He apologizes. Yeah. But then Bell and Dubs say something that uh, sort of sounds like meth. They're always just hoping <laughs> the best for him. I yes. think, you know. Meth. Meth. <laughs> The best. <laughs> so good. So he's uh, in in our canon. He's related to um, uh, every dag on time. Yeah, guy, right. Do know? Yep. That's right. That's right. Huh? So in season two, where the guy was like yelling at the end, and he's like, he oh, brand about stuff, and then be like, yes, and every then dag on time. Get him arrested. Every yes. Dag on time. Oh, they're um, definitely related, for sure. Yeah. 
Is it the, is I mean, it's the same voice actor? Besides the fact that it's the same, <laughs> yeah, it's the same yeah. voice actor. <laughs> well, what do you know? It seems like people that are related to each other just have the same <laughs> voice actor. It's like this crazy idea. I wouldn't know what that's about. <laughs> uh, not at all. <laughs> just easier that way. Yeah. Helps the, now, helps the viewers at home. <laughs> the the name for that character, Trey Duno, is that something that you can explain? Is that one of those, like, ridiculous inside jokes? Uh, Okay, so in 12th grade, when I was in 12th grade, Tower was in 11th, uh, we were both in jazz band. And uh, they this is had... not how I expected this story to start. Yeah, Let me, me just neither. Say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as funny as you hope, but. Uh, oh. <laughs> So the uh, the jazz band photo, so we, we would take individual photos and then they'd put that up on the wall. I think I might have one in the house somewhere, maybe. But um, so mine said J. Dot Wisen, and of course my last name is Wilson with an L. <laughs> it was missing the L, and Talbert said T. Dot Duno, and his cool. last name is Dunn. <laughs> so not what? Duno. Yeah, so we we just adopted these characters, Jay Wisen and Trey Duno. Oh, so they were. That's that's fantastic. That's actually, I don't know what you're talking about. That's actually a good. That's a good origin story for that. That's fantastic. <laughs> I want to know why we haven't had a Jay Wisen yet. <laughs> I haven't figured out what he what he is. So soon. But a lot of the characters, like Yaz Steinman, that um, that was something stupid that me and Talbert used to say on the bus. Uh. Who the hell do you think you are? Yes, Steinman? Like, I don't know what it is. Like, it, did, it was the name we made up. Just, so, just some dude. He's just yeah, Steinman. He's, some dude. Uh, and then a piece of Tarasovichikinich and ZZ Zizel are both prank calls that we used to make. Those were... Oh. Real, real oh. Yep. The lore. The lore. That's fantastic. Now I got to start trying to dig through my memory banks and see if I can remember some of my stupid shit from high school. <laughs> You mean everything? Just... Oh. <laughs> I mean, the usable stuff. <laughs> yeah, good point, good point, good point, good point. A piece of trash of a chicken itch. It's like how, what, for for Jilly, you named it after my dumb, I don't, I was, I just named everything Jilly at that point in my life. All my yes. stuffed animals were named Jilly. My usernames were Jilly. My passwords were Jilly. Everything was Jilly at that like, point. We, we played D and D, and you came up with like a Hobbit character, Jilly. Oh, Every, I remember that one. I remember like if you played a game on like a on PlayStation or something, Jilly. Jilly. I mean, everything was Jilly, and for what? For what? I think I think only one stuffed animal actually kept the name Jilly. Um, <laughs> however, there was multiple. That were named Jilly for no reason. <laughs> Don't even know where it came from. It's not a common name. Uh, I just, I feel like I remember the first time you said the name, like almost as a joke to yourself or something. <laughs> and like, I don't know whether like you were, you had already estab established this for yourself or we were just hearing it for the first time or what. But I like, I remember asking you like, what's so-and-so's name? And you're like, Jelly. <laughs> yeah, and I said that's some like, good shit. <laughs> like you were just making it up, or like that you were like just letting us in on your inside joke to yourself. I don't even know what the joke was anymore. So <laughs> if it was one, it wasn't very good. <laughs> I think honestly, probably what it was is that I just made up a name and it, it stuck because that's what Esnon is too. So they just stuck around. Except Esnon oh. has more staying power than Jilly does. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jilly. Jilly. And then at one point, like, I think you were going to have a different character in each season, and they were all going to just rhyme. Like, it was yeah. going to be Jilly, and then Millie, and then Really. <laughs> really. I think, I remember you talking about that. I mean, obviously, if there's ever any other iterations, they can all just be Illies. Mm-hmm. Because um, I, th I. Really? Yeah, exactly. Do a dude's voice. Billy. Hey, it's me, Billy! <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> the Joe Biden voice. No, 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 that's not the same. Uh, oh. Joe Biden. Is, hey, it's me, Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's different. It's different. <laughs> Holy gotcha. shit! Was the president just here? What's going on? Yeah, it's me. It's me. I'm the president. I, well, I didn't I know we fix had your the computers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if anyone doesn't watch Kit Boga, 
Uh, that joke probably went right over your head, but that's okay. He's great. You should look him up. <laughs> <laughs> Just look up Kit Boga, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. It's so Biden. good. So stupid, too. It's so dumb. <laughs> special, special guest part bonus. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Um, but, uh, <laughs> well, I'm oh, excited, God. obviously, for future seasons, but we still have this season to finish. So, you know. I know, man. Like, I want it all now, but that can't. We can't do that. It's not even all done now, so. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't I want it all I still have like three now. episodes to finish. Yeah. <laughs> You, you'll be fine. You'll yeah, be you're fine. getting there. You'll be fine. Getting there. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, so what what had happened was is that was. Um, it's now the perfect time of year outside, out of doors, to do the, all the yard work that I've been putting off since um, oh, eight months ago. <laughs> yeah. So there's been a lot of that that's kind of gotten in the way of other things, which is why sometimes, like, I... Like, Scott joked me once that I spend every spare second that I can. Like, if I have 20 minutes, I'm going to sit down and edit. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because I need to squeeze it in. That's the only way it's going to get done. Yeah. I mean, basically, that's, um, that's just, that's honestly just how it goes. You just got to mm -hmm. get, get it done. Yeah. Get it. You can. Yep. I prefer to do it, like, you know, in one session if I can, because, like, if I just sit down and do an episode, um, as long as it's not like super duper um, sound effects heavy, and if I have all the sound effects like already downloaded and stuff, I can get like the whole thing put together in like a couple of hours. Like it's not really that bad. But if I spend twenty minutes on it here and twenty minutes on it here, you know, it's it probably takes me like you know six hours. Or something. Yeah, because then you gotta go back and re-listen to stuff. Uh, yeah, and just like opening up the files that that I need and all that stuff, it just takes mm -hmm. a lot of time. No, I, that makes sense. I editing in general is like that, where it's better if you can get it all done at once. Because uh, whenever I do work on my videos, it's like, all right, I want to at least I have to do it in parts. Otherwise, if or all at once, because it's it gets too hectic if you come back to it. Because you'll be like, oh, I'll do this later, and then you don't. Mm -hmm. You just won't. Oh, that's like the, all the writing of season three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just we'll get back to it later. What oh. the fuck are we doing here? What happened? What Where happened? Was? What was the joke? Oh, uh, next who's bell. <laughs> who's who's this? Who's that? Next who's season, that? when you guys write stuff, uh, if I do get free time, I, I can maybe sometimes read through it to see if I find anything that's odd or something. Like maybe when I'm bored at work, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, that we that would be fantastic. Yeah, I'll I'll try and do that for you because I can't do it all the time, obviously. But when I can, I'll I'll definitely do that because I I know I've caught some things before, so it, might it help. helps to have like an outside set of eyes for sure. And we we adopted doing the read throughs after every writing session so helpful. this year, which definitely helped catch some edits early on. But oftentimes we're looking at like twelve thirty, one o'clock in the morning, and it's like. Mm -hmm just did the read through and we caught things but we didn't caught we didn't catch everything we didn't, we caught, didn't, caught, everything. We didn't caught everything yeah <laughs> probably what you'll want to do next season is have somebody who's like in but not all the way in once you get all the episodes <laughs> finished like just written to see like hey can you just read through all of these <laughs> just to make sure that something that happens in episode one didn't get lost too much in episode 12 or something right yeah but future things future problems that's yeah, problems that's... for jenny and justin of tomorrow exactly <laughs> right exactly love that mindset <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna call us jerks yes they will <laughs> yeah definitely done that a lot <laughs> but I mean, we've also learned from that i think we talked about like you know missing stuff in, in season two and then being so mad that we had to redo it or do it like as we're trying to put the episode together we didn't have a lot a lot of that this mm -hmm. season it was mm -hmm. mostly just oh this line didn't come out right or um my reworking... board stopped working <laughs> <laughs> or reworking um you know a, a line because it didn't work as well so it's like uh let's do this or slight character changes 
like Yaz Steinman becoming the Yaz Steinman in, in uh, Legion yeah. of Steel. Like stuff like that was more season three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's because we did it all in one section. I was listening to um, episode or season one earlier and like I remembered how like we did each section individually rather than the entire episode all at once like we do now. Yeah. And back in those days, it was like that was a constant problem. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> it was so bad. Like we would just miss entire sections because we were like, I thought we did that. No, we didn't. Yep. Dude, nope. it was it was terrible. Like I even had like a spreadsheet where it's like, okay, we did this part and we did this part. We did, but what about this? And we would like end up missing like one line in the mm. middle. I remember you talking about that um, when it was happening. Is that you would always be like, oh god, we we got this one little thing that we got got to do now because the whole rest of the episode's finished, but we missed this yeah. one little part so it's definitely good to do it all at once as much as you possibly can of course yeah um, yeah yeah because it's easier um, to put small pieces and do like the whole piece later versus small pieces yeah. and the other small pieces yeah <laughs> and now well, we also get people to um to do the lines that like if there's an actor that can't be there on the day that we record we'll get mm-hmm. like Somebody else Scott or like, yeah, whoever is just around, like, can you just read these lines for us and just fill it in? And it kind of helps to like space things out to like make sure that we get everything. Because when we would like skip ahead, it's like, okay, skim, 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 good on here. And then we would miss like one line in the middle that they were supposed to do, yep. you know? Mm-hmm. Big brain. So, yeah. We're learning. Big learned. <laughs> well. We got through the two episodes. Um, we did. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I know we're we're planning to do this again when the more episodes come out. Of course, there's going to be a new one this Friday, right? Mm-hmm. 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 And tomorrow, the prison, the prison chatter on Thursday. Uh, yeah, that yes. comes out. The little episode before the episode. Always got to listen to both. It's the rules. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's it's delightful because it's it's Jersey Joe, like you never seen him before with Uncle Mayor Timmons, and the two of them <laughs> are just delightful idiots, and yeah. uh, <laughs> they're just they they love this show, they love House Arrest, so that's and it's that's also got like that that odd couple kind of it really ridiculous. does. <laughs> <laughs> they are from completely different worlds in the fullest sense possible. <laughs> um, but but they're good friends. That's you know, yep. it's the it's the beauty of their differences that bring them together. So that's going to ramp up soon too, because um, there's going to be two other characters that are getting introduced to the house of, oh. or into prison chatter. Yeah, Ooh. more Coming people. I think episode seven. I think is mm. when okay. that's happening. So nice. We need to schedule that. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, I haven't heard it yet. That's because it's not done. Oh, well, definitely look forward to the new episode on Friday, though. Um, And obviously, like we said, the prison chatter, both great, fantastic. Episode four is the one that's coming up. Uh, Is it is it the one where um, my bestie comes in or is that later? I don't know if I'm going to make that. No, that's later. Okay. later. When um, we record the episodes, I forget which stuff happens when. That's fair. And I think those we did in, like, May of last year. Like, it's almost been a year yeah, since we recorded that time. one. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's in six and then, like, eight and nine. Um, God, I can't remember which four, which one four. <laughs> oh, I remember. Because, yes, I remember now. Because it was, like, a quick thing in one episode. And then it was actually in, in another episode. So, mm-hmm. gotcha. Okay. Because I'm just trying to remember how we're, we're planning stuff out, basically. Right. Um, she's 8, 9, and 10, right? Because she's definitely in 10. Yeah. Check check it check it later once it happens, too. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. way we can yeah. uh, reach out and plan with her. Because we love Trina. We love Trina. <laughs> um, <laughs> Trina stays. Trina! Wow! <laughs> um... And she loves doing anything, so I know she, we can work something out with her on here too. Cause she yeah. big, she's big Twitch. 
Big Twitch uh, user. <laughs> big Twitch. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, just a big Twitch user. User. <laughs> um, but yeah. Any other lovely parting words or things? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. Oh. Because every Monday we're doing the, the videos from the commercials. Like we're, we're kind of giving people like a preview of the commercial that comes out in the episode. So like on Monday, the episode four commercial comes out. Pulling it um, up. Yeah, it's the Legion of Stupid. It might be right there on the front page of legionofstupid.com. I was pulling up straight to the YouTube. Doing the YouTube searches. Oh, yeah. So Leslie's, Le uh, yeah, Leslie Haifa is only in episodes 9 and 10. There 9 and 10. So we have a little bit beforehand. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. That's okay, Midnight Thank I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying hi to him in chat because we had a couple people, a couple people pop in. Define big Twitch user. Big Twitch user. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, uh, put me on Perfect. the spot here. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Right, right there. Exactly. Bing! Found it. There we go. I love that it's the, the picture of Jupiter that you guys use. Because, of course. Get it, get it more stupider. Get more stupider. <laughs> We, so yeah, we came up with the name Legion of Stupid, and then it was like, where, where would the Legion of Stupid headquarters be? Mm -hmm. Obviously on Jupiter, of so course. you can get more stupider. Of course, of course. Yeah, sorry, midnight. I I don't have a specific schedule, at least not on Twitch, because it can be kind of random. Most of my updates are usually on Instagram. If you're uh, looking for notifications, but I appreciate you obviously just stopping by. I don't have any set schedules. It's just hard to do with work and life of course but yes good videos um senior pillows very good jersey joe also very great uh <laughs> they're all good bits i haven't got to watch them all yet uh or well, i usually i'll watch them before they're uploaded because <laughs> you'll send me like the, the little bits you haven't seen some of these because I, I don't think justin's seen some of these no i don't <laughs> oh no. oh was um oh you can see which ones i did watch i didn't get to see jeff jefferson oh these are the actual ad <laughs> not the stripper pole i don't know if i want to get in trouble with twitch <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh oh yeah don't play it if yeah it's... yeah we won't play anything just but they're they're and funny definitely don't play the episode 10 <laughs> oh good good to have all the stripper poles not mm -hmm. this Actually, yeah, you probably won't be able to play the next one to it, uh, the Let's Get Baked one. I don't know what Twitch's rules are, but even YouTube was like, this is age-restricted. You're like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, All that's right. fine. I was I was going to anyway. Like, that's nice. that's totally cool. Yeah, no, let's, uh, let's not get in trouble. That's probably not a, a good idea. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fine. Thank you to everybody that stopped by, and of course, thank you to specifically Midnight for saying good night. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I think we're probably wrapping up here. I don't know if there's much yeah. else to plug or talk about. It's last chance. Last chance. Okay. No, I'm nothing. good. I gotta go posse up. Oh, all, oh, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, thank you, everybody. Hope you had a great time. Make sure to listen to the new episode on Friday. It's on Spotify. It's on, I know, Anchor. And it's on a bunch of other places. But it's on the website. So go. Uh, Everywhere. Yeah. But bye. 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 <laughs>